Working from home presents many challenges. One of these is video conferencing. Whether you're taking part in a virtual meeting with colleagues, participating in an interview, or giving a presentation, you want to make sure that you look your best and that people can clearly understand you. We don't always realize how much information is conveyed through visual interaction. Being able to clearly see your face and your expressions is very important to clear communication. Lighting plays an important part in this. In this short video, we want to give you some simple tips to put yourself in your best light when you're video conferencing from home. I'm Jennifer Bronze. And I'm Charles Jarbo. We work as researchers and lighting designers at the Lighting Research Center at our university, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. When video conferencing, you want more light reflecting off your face compared to what's coming from the background. That might mean adding light to your face, or it might mean taking light away from your background. Harsh overhead lighting such as this tends to emphasize skin imperfections, keeping you from looking your best. Instead, you want to use diffuse soft light. With electric lighting, you can soften the light by using, for example, two table lamps with translucent lampshades, one on each side of your face, or by bouncing light off of a light colored ceiling or walls with a torsier fixture. Ceiling mounted light fixtures, task lights with frosted diffusers, or bulbs with frosted diffusers will be softer on your face than a harsh light such as this. Make sure the light is coming from in front of you, not coming from directly overhead or behind your shoulders. And when you position the light in front of your face, make sure it's out of view of the camera. What about daylight? You might have windows in the space where you're trying to hold your video conference. If you turn yourself so that you're facing the window, you will put a lot of light on your face. If there is too much sunlight on your face, you might need to close shades or drapes to soften the daylight, or move further back from the window. Also note that if you wear glasses, windows or any bright light source will cause a reflection in your glasses that might prevent the camera from seeing your eyes. Adjust accordingly, and note that people might see what's on your screen reflected in your glasses as well. It might look strange or harsh if your daylight is coming only from one side, so try turning your camera so that your window is in front of you. Or try adding electric light on the dark side to fill in the shadows. But avoid harsh light such as this. Keep it soft. When you choose where to hold your video conference, consider what the camera will be seeing, both in terms of your face as well as the background. Keep the background simple and uncluttered so that people are looking at you, not things around you. You should also limit bright light sources in the background. Avoid aiming your camera at an unshaded window. As shown here, the camera is adjusting its settings so that the outside is more visible than the person. It might help to partially close the blinds or drapes, but even then, it might create harsh patterns in the background and still not improve visibility of the face. Now, with the blinds fully closed, we can finally see the person's face. Now, if this person adds some soft electric light in front of him, we can really see him on camera. He's got more light on his face than on the background. The light is coming from in front of him. If your camera has a view of the ceiling, try to re-aim so that it's not looking up into recessed downlights, chandeliers, or other bare bulbs, or turn them off. On camera, some LEDs might look like they flicker when they're dimmed. If so, turn them off. Household TV screens are a bright and flashing background that will distract, so turn TVs off for your video conference. Your framed art in the background might also reflect windows and confuse the camera. If so, close window coverings or adjust your camera angle. We hope these tips help to put you in your best light when video conferencing from home. For other residential lighting tips, check out Lighting Patterns for Homes on the Lighting Research Center website.